So I heard that the third Monday in January is supposed to be the saddest day of the year. Really? <laughs> I, I never heard that. I, I, where have I been? Anyways, um, I, mm, I kind of disagree with that because I have never really noticed that within myself. But do you think that maybe it is probably because the Christmas and New Year's season is about being up and then when it's all said and done, you come back down? And all of a sudden, like all the people and the excitement and the presents and the food and everything else is kind of all cleaned out. And now we're back to January. It's a, it's a month. It's a every day. It happens every year, you know. And so maybe, maybe that is why. Maybe that is why people feel sad. But you don't have to. You don't have to go to that place. So if you could understand that, you know, we're, you know, ex super excited for like November, December, and then part of January, and then all of a sudden things start to slide back to normalcy, then maybe that is why we feel a little down because all that invigorating energy is not around us now. So what can we do? How about then after New Year's, you get right into your uplifting regime. You, you're making sure that you're walking every day, you're breathing in the air, you're playing with your kids, you're playing with your pet, you're going to your yoga classes or, you know, whatever class you're in, you, you know, start painting again. It is just that if you understand or if you have actually experienced that, then change it. You can change it. You don't have to go like, oh, here comes the saddest day of the year. <laughs> you don't have to do that. No, no, no. You can prepare for that. You can do all the things that I just suggested and know that that is actually not a truth because it is all in the mind and how you perceive that. So if your perception is around joy and upliftment, you won't experience it. But if you intend on going like, oh, here comes the saddest day of the year, <laughs> then, you know, that's what you're going to feel like. So do a little preparation and make that third day in January a happy day. In fact, maybe we'll do a video that day just to show you how happy we are. <laughs> So you can reach me at Phoenix Rising Healing Center and Instagram and YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.